Breaking news, folks. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis may have just been caught by Representative Jim Jordan. This comes after a former staffer for Willis was let go back in 2022. Two years later, and it looks like the DA's past is now coming back to haunt her. Now, Willis has not been having the best time as of late as she's faced multiple roadblocks with her goal to get former President Donald Trump jailed. The judge presiding over the case, Judge Scott McAfee, he admitted that there was an issue of her working with prosecutor Nathan Wade. Without outright saying it, McAfee he hinted that there was a conflict of interest with them working together. This has led to Nathan Wade recusing himself from the Georgia case and has left Fannie Willis to fend for herself. But it doesn't end there because Donald Trump's team believes that the DA herself should be removed from this case as well, something that Fannie Willis is not thrilled about. So here's what the former president Donald Trump had to say about it recently and how he felt about the DA being kept on the case. Now, before we share this, all I ask is that you guys take one second, hit the like button for the video, and I want to thank you so much for sharing these videos on Facebook and Twitter. Well, she should be on our case. She's been totally discredited and choppy that she's on our case. Her lover was thrown off the case and she should be thrown off with it. Uh, Bonnie Willis did this to get vacations. I mean, you take a look at the kind of money. And by the way, she never paid him back in cash. And if she did, she's got a bigger problem because you can't do that. That's real. She said she took campaign cash and paid him back. You're not allowed to do that. So either way, that's a, a crime. She's a criminal. So, Bonnie Willis has been totally discredited. That case should end. And I think it's a big insult to Georgia that the case is going forward. I don't know if it's going forward. Nobody knows that. But if it does go forward, it's a big insult to Georgia. She is a corrupt individual. He was corrupt. She was corrupt. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. And uh, I suspect that case is going to be terminated because it has absolutely no credibility. Do you agree with Donald Trump here? With regards to that worker that Willis fired, she was actually trying to help the DA. She warned Fannie Willis that her office was attempting to misuse a $488,000 federal grant. What was the money going to be used for? It was said to be used to buy swag, whatever that happens to mean, computers and travel. What was the money going to be used for? This grant is now being invested by the Justice Department's Office of Justice his programs as they said that there's a lot of discrepancies from the DA's office. So this staffer, Amanda Timpson, initially wanted to help Fannie Willis, or at least that's what it looked like. She wanted to warn her that grant money from the federal government was going to be misused. But instead of thanking her and taking action, it appears as though Fannie Willis removed her from her position. A whistleblower privately warned embattled Georgia DA Fannie Willis that her top aide was abusing federal funds. Now, in the audio, Willis appears to agree with this whistleblower and say that she'd look into it. Yet a little less than two months later, the staffer who raised the concerns was fired. Let's take a listen to that audio. He told everybody in front of Crystal, Deontay, everybody, we're going to get MacBooks. We're going to do that. We're going to get swag. We're going to use it for travel. I said, you cannot do that. It's a very, very specific grant. Took me off. I questioned Junior DA. There's kids in there from out of the the um the county. All this took me off Junior DA. I didn't not want to do it. He made it look as if I wasn't doing what I needed to do because I questioned him because so, I knew for a fact Mr. Cuffey respectfully did not know what he was doing. So, period. So I respect that is your assessment. Um, it was clear to me that you and Mr. Cuffey were not getting along. And I'm not saying that your assessment is wrong. I want you to really listen to the words I'm saying. Cuffy, and this is my personal opinion to one woman to another, is dangerous to your administration. Timpson was actually escorted out of her office by seven armed guards. Not sure if this was to intimidate her, but appears as if Willis may have been in on the corruption because she removed the whistleblower. Not a good look here. Now, the discrepancies came from Willis's office herself. This is because there are allegedly contradictory statements regarding awards that Fannie Willis's office may have made under the grant. Now, we talked about how Fannie Willis wanted to use this money to buy fancy computers and travel, right? Well, turns out that this money was supposed to be used to create a center for youth empowerment and gang prevention in Atlanta. The grant ended September of last year, but it's 2024 now, and the center was never open. This has led House Judiciary Committee Chairman Representative Jim Jordan to investigate how Fannie Willis used these federal grant funds. She was subpoenaed in early February, but responded with a very narrow set of documents that had nothing to do with what was being alleged against her. Jim Jordan threatened to even hold her in contempt of Congress, but the DA wasn't having it. She said that Jim Jordan's request was unreasonable and uncustomary. Congress is trying to find out 
if and how her office misused federal funds. So Fannie Willis's office is saying that she's innocent. Their office did nothing wrong. But Congressman Jim Jordan is saying they haven't sent over enough to prove that. They're looking for yet another slice of the pie. So in a letter from we obtained from Jim Jordan to Fannie Willis's office, it reads in part, quote, your office unlawfully planned to use part of a $488,000 federal grant earmarked for the creation of a center of youth empowerment and gang prevention to cover frivolous, unrelated expenses. We know the allegations here center on a former employee who said the district attorney fired her soon after she raised concerns about how one of their employees hoped to use those federal grant money for things outside of the scope of that federal grant. She added that Jim Jordan was only doing this so as to derail her election interference case against Donald Trump. Not sure why she shouldn't be able to procure documents that she should already have, unless, of course, she's lying about where they use this money. Or maybe the documents don't even exist, even worse. This has critics of DA Fannie Willis saying that she's deflecting and she's trying to use her case against Donald Trump as a sort of a shield. Because many analysts believe that Jordan's request was actually quite reasonable. Is it weird that they would want to know where our taxpayer dollars actually went. Now, I know a lot of folks who would appreciate being informed about where our taxes are going right now. And if you do appreciate that kind of thing, definitely hit the like button for this video. We really appreciate that. And I always want to thank you guys so much for always sharing these videos on Facebook and sharing them on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for doing that. Now, Fannie Willis supposedly made sub award payments to the Offender Alumni Association, an Alabama based charity staffed by former prison inmates. Now, what's really odd is that we weren't really sure if they got any money as the answer to the question changes depending upon who you ask. Their administrative director, Tony Barrett, was reportedly asked about a transfer from Willis's office to their group. She said that she has no idea where this information is coming from and that she has no idea what anyone's talking about. Now, it's weird though, because their co-founder and chief operating officer have yet to return any comment from previous requests. Does this mean that they're guilty? I mean, it's just hard to tell because it's not a good sign when people just suddenly stop talking. Here's what makes things very interesting though. The Justice Department said that the federal authorities had no record records of money being provided to the Offender Alumni Association. But then something surprising happened. The Fulton County records showed that they provided a subpayment of $89,900 to the group. This then led to the Justice Department changing their story on the fly. They said that they just made an error and that they suddenly found that Offender Alumni Association was included as a Fulton County subgrantee. They then proceeded to apologize for their mistake. Now you have to think that there's just something a little bit fishy going on here. Something just doesn't smell right and it's not the odor of mendacity. Critics say it's the odor of corruption, but here's what many believe will happen here. Even if corruption is proven, and even if there is proof that Willis used federal funds to enrich herself or Nathan Wade, the expectation is that Judge McAfee probably won't do a thing. Even though it's easy to argue that a corrupt DA would probably do a lot of questionable deeds given her scope of power. It's also being predicted that Fannie Willis will probably go by her previous script. And that's to say that she's not embarrassed by her actions. She doesn't feel as if her reputation needs to be reclaimed and that this is all happening because of race. She's also probably going to say that she didn't do anything illegal, even though there are many critics that are already prepared to disagree with her. But what do you guys think? If her office is found guilty of corruption, should she be removed from Trump's case? Or better yet, should she be disbarred? We're going to see how things play out. But believe me when I say, I'm going to make sure to get you guys all the facts to keep you informed. But before I go, I want to thank y'all for hitting the like button. Thank you for sharing these videos and I'll see you on the next one.